Vem agora, a girava Assim, assim, assim I got a bed on a girl Cause I'm pretty to house in the court now for the eviction. I'm going by myself because my name is the only name that's on the paper. Donovan wanted to go with me, but I told him to stay because they didn't draw that paper up right. I don't want them to be like, oh well, but he's here, so let's you know proceed. Very anxious, but at least I'll get clarity. So no one's there, so I'm gonna go to the legal aid. It says I'm number 41. So I tried to go to the legal aid office and they said to see the judge first. So Alright, so it's about to be 12. I'm finally done and I am about to head to the grocery store and then head home. Okay, we got an email from Raindrop. Hey Melissa, happy Halloween. I hope you're having an amazing week so far. As promised, here is your brand accelerator for you to review. The goal here is to showcase the roadmap. Plus, get all your foundations in place in preparation for scaling direct to consumer. Please also watch this video. Uh, I recorded walking through the recommendation, sharing some additional context. Lastly, here is the investment overview I referenced on the call. I was a little nervous. I thought they were. I thought they were. I thought, I thought she was all get back to me. From 10 to 50 is you 5x in a lot of marketing. <laughs> three million to 350 <laughs> means like people fuck with this shit. People in hundred, a hundred x. Right, and I think laundry sauce. I mean, they're tough, cause 15 million is a lot, but I don't think that's all in one year. And I also think that with laundry sauce, the product is good. <laughs> He's so concerned. <laughs> it's okay, Rock. We just got $15,000. 15000 dollars fucking dollars, Rock! 15 motherfucking dollars! 15 dollars? 15000 fucking dollars! Bruh, I saw that. I saw it on the phone next I was like, I gotta call you back. I gotta call you back. I tried to, charge, try to plug his phone in. I gotta charge him. I gotta charge his phone. It wasn't coming on. I'm like, damn, what do I do? I'm like, okay. okay I, gotta, I gotta calm down. I gotta relax. <laughs> y'all understand Bruh. we are starving <laughs> we're literally right now starving <laughs> i'm like fuck i still gotta go outside i still gotta go outside 15 bubba <laughs> I gotta, all I gotta do for the rest of the day is post this video. For the rest of the day, my day is done. I'm. Oh, you gotta get to the post office. Right. That's, that's it. I can do that. That's I'm it. About to run. That's it. <laughs> I'm about to what? I honestly, I think that's all the energy. I'm about to stay outside till like nine. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god. It's here. Oh, I'm. I'm ready. It's go time. It's go time. It's go time. It's go time. Let's Lisa. fucking go. We gotta open up a chase card. Dude, you block the card. <laughs> it's a brand new card, so. Okay, I'm about to say, lock, lock everything, lock the account. <laughs> open, up, open a new savings account right. right now, put it in there. I tried to, when I let me I'm, I'm open it up on the phone. Oh, uh, they say why? <clears throat> Let's fucking go. 15 motherfucking bumble cut, thousand dollars? Honestly, I'm still lost for words, to be completely honest with y'all. The 15K finally hit our account, but I wanted to get an update of how I feel before before things start changing. I'm letting y'all know right now, it's about to get real spooky over here, right? It's, it's Halloween today that we got the 15K, and I'm telling you, things are gonna get crazy. Y'all don't understand how it's gonna, y'all don't. All the things that we've been trying to do, planning to do, been held back by not having the money. And the best thing about it is we're not worrying about debt. We're not worrying about, oh, we borrowed uh, uh, 10,000, but now we gotta pay back 2,000 of it every single month. We're not worrying about going artists and fleas. We gotta pay them $2,000 a month. So now we can actually sit down and come up with a game plan for the money, I'm telling y'all. Ember Candle Co. about to be one of the biggest 
companies you ever heard of. Is that the app that you use? Yes. I finally made it to Starbucks. Today was a fun day. And this is what my setup is looking like. I originally was planning to stay out here until like 8.30 but then I realized that I have to make candles tonight because we, we have a fair this weekend so I'm actually heading home early. I don't feel too bad about it because I feel like I got a lot of stuff done. Um, I was able to write out our brand story and then send out a couple emails so I'll probably be back in the city like tomorrow again to work. I'm not looking forward to making candles once I get home. It is about to be 12, it's 11.59, and I have a meeting with one of the business coaches, uh, the Beyonce course at 12. But you know what, I want to talk about, about funding. And it kind of sucks because I wish I would have had more to show, but I'm going to ask her if I can, once I, once I finish having a draft, if I can send it to her to look over. So we were just looking over the money that we're gonna get the 15k that came in yesterday 15k goes really fast really fast i thought we had a longer runway than we do but it seems like it's only maybe three to four months the first month we're gonna be spending uh what is it six thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars the first month we're spending i know right that's crazy and then the second month is gonna be $3,500, then the fourth month right now is $3,260. And honestly, these numbers are still kind of low because we actually, I know this is crazy for y'all. We actually still have to add some debt on here and we also still have to add, there are some subscriptions that we didn't add from one month to the second month. So that has to be done. Um, yeah, I know, right? It's crazy, it's crazy. We have some plans as to how we're gonna go about doing it. We're thinking right now, we have one payment left for our credit repair. So I'm gonna get that done. We have to buy wax. The marketing company we're working with is $17.50 a month. It's actually only $7.50 per month, but it's a thousand ads per month also, minimum. But other big ones on here, we have to pay debt, storage. Honestly, I just got off the phone with them right now. What we're gonna do is Melissa is gonna go there, open up a new storage unit for herself. I'm gonna come in and then downgrade my storage unit and move all of my stuff into her storage unit. So one of my vices is buying things and I'm very excited to get to buy a lot of stuff. One of the things I just paid for is the hot jar subscription. So if you look here, well, y'all probably don't know this. Melissa is working on figuring out the story for us, like how to write it down. We're trying to come up with what, what we're gonna do. I think it's funny that that's what she's working on right now. When I come to the heat map, the number one thing that people click on is the about us page. So that lets me know this needs to be something that is done, pushed to the top of what's important. Number two is this. Oh, that's probably the, oh wow. I think number two is Xing out the 50% thing. That's interesting, okay. And then number three. Hey babe, oh, what happened? I an idea. Something up, I think it's funny. Uh, you wanna go first or we go first? I'm gonna go first, mine's shorter. So I'm looking at the heat map for the website. The number one heat source right now for the homepage is the About Us. Right, right, that's literally number one. Like at the top of About Ember, right. So what Working was- on it right now, right this second, y'all. Mm -hmm. Listen, that's, that's, that's amazing. Right. At things that reaffirm what we already trying to do, it makes us feel like it's not aimless. Right. I'm heading to my office. I have mad different coats and fashion over from like a uh, haul that I did like five, four, four or five years ago. I'm still in the elevator, y'all. We just got an Etsy order, $20. Now I'm about to set up for the last photo shoot that we have to do. This will be for Do Not Disturb. We already did room service. We already did people watching. That's when you know what it is. Maybe the light is not bright enough. Cause I just feel, I don't, I don't feel like amazing right now. Y'all see this building? Look at this. Y'all remember that view we used to have? This is the view right now. Like we in a jail cell or something. Y'all see this? It's crazy. Do y'all remember when you used to be able to see me walking from here all to the post office? Now, and you know what's crazy? I keep saying this, all of these are like apartments. How many people will be here looking at us in the window? It's crazy, look at this. 
Well, I guess I'm about to clean up this table so I can do another photo shoot and then do the last candle photo shoot for Do Not Disturb. is today's setup so we got do not disturb center stage for today don't mind the wrinkle right there we'll edit that in post but i think the pictures came out at least they look like they came out pretty well i implemented a couple new strategies that i came up with and kind of saw from watching videos one of them that i've kind of realized is for something that's in the background i think it really has to be like in the background so how i look at it now if you do photography i try and also like look at this as a rule of thirds as well as the camera so i'm like okay the foreground would be here right this is the center and then the back would be like the third rule of thirds you know you know what i'm saying right now we're looking through the photos he took Y'all miss him in the vlogs, right? Y'all miss him when he used to we used to help sell the candles. Now we're not even doing markets anymore. Why? Not really. Uh, artisan pleases a lot. Artisan pleases ass. Finally heading home. Stopped at Whole Foods real quick um, to grab a thing or two just to make dinner, and I'm I'm gonna try to go actual food shopping tomorrow if I can. All I did today was really edit photos and go over the brand story. I didn't get to do the course like I wanted to, but it's still work that needs to be done. It's just not the work that I wanted to do. Melissa does not like my photo shoot, Ow. so she wants to do one herself. You already off to a bad start. Your lighting is crazy. Someone who took some crazy photos is just talking a lot. <laughs> This is pissing me off. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to be doing this right now. Shit took some better pictures. <laughs> don't look nice enough. Don't look, don't look, the color look all pinkish. I don't know what you're doing before. You're like you was taking pictures for a vampire. I'm not taking pictures for a vampire. Damn it, I'm taking pictures for a vampire. <laughs> it's so much better already. Oh, now it's so much better. Look at even them, Lester. First of all, you're taking mad pictures for no reason. You you see, stop doing that. You be taking picture. You just having the camera five times. It's one picture at a time, Melissa. You take the picture you like, and you take it, you move it, and you take another one. <laughs> what are you doing? There's nothing move. We don't need two pictures of the same thing, Melissa. You gonna have three hundred pictures to look through. It's, you didn't move anything. When are you taking more pictures of something? You didn't move it. Why are you taking two? You don't need two. Mind <laughs> your business, Donovan. <laughs> Mind your business. <laughs> business. I don't want to hear nothing from nobody that took them photos. This, this is my business right here. I'm going to do a poll on Instagram. You're going to see what they say. They're going to eat you up. I'm, I'm not going to tell them. I'm going to say, which one y'all like? A or B? They're going to eat you up. Show you, show you how, to, how to take some. some. What? <laughs> what you mean, Willis? What is that? You gotta. It's, you want this shot right here. That's what you got to crop it to mm -hmm. right there. Okay? Take it from a professional photographer. Where are you going? Alright. That's the first photo. Sure, sure, sure. Keep going. Alright, well, you know, we just went through five of the same pictures. No, it's not. The flame is. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. That's why you gotta take more scenes. The flame is up. You dare in post. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can do that in post. I don't think I'm not. I, I think I'm not. I'm president. I was president. Nothing's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's happening. I can't even tell if like if we're doing anything or not. <laughs> I know you thought you thought you were eating, right? You thought you you thought you were eating with that one. <laughs> you did it. You're starving, Melissa. You're starving. You didn't eat at all. You did not eat. Yeah, we'll see. I still think it's better. We're gonna put Instagram right now. We're gonna see. I should. I still think it's better than yours. Melissa, ain't nothing in this picture. This picture is dry. Enough is in here. 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 Enough is in here
But but you had too much in there, and it don't it didn't go together. It wasn't cohesive. Now this now watch watch. Right now I'm headed to Boston Wax. We technically have like two fairs this weekend, and I think we have another one this month. We have like four fairs this month, and we don't have enough wax, nor do we have enough fragrance oil. There used to be sunlight right here that was so good. Do you remember that? Do you remember how good that sunlight was right here? Honestly, I didn't even want to go outside today. I just was like, oh, you know what? I haven't been outside in a while. I just got out the bed, got dressed. All right, let's go get the wax and come back home. And hopefully I should be able to get back here by like one o'clock, two o'clock, probably not even one o'clock, probably like 2.30. As you know, Donovan went to get the wax. I am working on getting insurance uh, policy for the event with Morgan Stanley. That's next week. We weren't going to do it at first, but now we are. I have two orders to mail out. So I have to melt the top one of the candles that I made yesterday, make sure there's no sinkholes. I have to, you know, pack them up and ship them out. I got an email this morning that says one of the documents that I applied for, I didn't get because I put the wrong business name. So I have to change the business name on the document and resubmit it in order for them to approve it. Cause they said otherwise than that, like it's fine. So I have to resubmit. Rock, don't hide now. Don't hide from the camera. So, I have to resubmit that document. He's, he's just having a ball. I also want to work on my course because working on working on my uh, on my course is kind of like working on graphic design, but thinking about it from the customer's perspective and kind of like what I'm going to get from it or like how to how to make the user experience really good or cool or whatever. So I want to implement the things that I learned from my course into creating um, some A plus content for the business. And A plus content is kind of like, I'll go on an Amazon store so y'all can see it. But A plus content is when a, is when a store kind of has more information about the product. So I'll use this as an example. So this would be like A plus content, that's A plus content, this is A plus content, you know, it's kind of like that. So if you scroll down, yeah, this is, this is definitely it. This is A plus content right here. Having it right here, um, the different places they've been at. They're like a known brand, so I don't think they have to do as much. I want to make that, and I think by doing my course, it'll help me make really good creatives that'll convert better. And then I want, like, there's just a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Um, right now is the first, it's the second day of November. So that means that, you know, it's holiday season pretty much. We don't know enough to like really run any holiday promotions or ads, but I still kind of want to run one just cause. Like if someone that would have bought, if there was a discount, you know, there, now here's a discount. So if you want to buy, you can. Just got here to get the wax. And, oh, see, that sun is back hitting me. They still have not sent me the invoice to pay for it yet. They've been acting weird saying that it's going to be like another 3% fee. And I'm like, y'all never, because it's a credit card. I'm like, I never said that before. So why y'all all of a sudden adding 3% on to the wax? But I'm like, whatever. But I hope that's not why they're holding up. I tried buying the wax yesterday. Didn't work. So I just got the wax. They gave me the money before I even paid. Which I think it's crazy. But I mean, listen, we've been buying wax from them for almost a year now. Lots, like hundreds of pounds. We probably bought thousands of pounds of wax from them by now. So I've been trying to pay still, but for some reason, Square's acting up and all the money is in a Chase account. But I got transferred from Chase to Square to my Bank of America account. Then from there, to my square account to then pay. Foolishness. I'm 
literally just pull my hair out. I don't know. When it comes to finding insurance, this is a lot harder than I thought. I could have gotten insurance earlier, but I, I fucked up and I said that um, we make perfumes. So heads up, if you make any type of uh, cosmetic stuff that touches the skin, you're gonna have a hard time finding insurance. So I reached back out and, um, to the person running the event because she said somebody else got insurance. I'm like, who did they get insurance from? Because this is, you know, not working for me. So I'm about to call them and see what's up. All right, just an update for y'all. I was able to get ACT insurance, ACT. And if you don't know what that is, it's artists, crafters, and traffmen and trade uh insurance i believe i tried to get it before earlier in the year oh yeah so i reached out to the um to morgan stanley because they're the ones asking me for this insurance because she said somebody else got insurance so i'm like well i'm having to i called like 10 different places y'all liberty mutual is the one that really blew mine because it was like mm, yeah we would have insured you but because you make perfumes too i'm like fuck man but yes i was able to get insurance from the act or act insurance if someone asks you for insurance y'all use them it took two seconds it was short term literally for one one event and it's it was 50 bucks because i feel like we're kind of getting into that space where like our target audience is probably on linkedin and that type of stuff so I want to know how to use the platform more efficiently. I saw that this was a webinar that was available, so I said, why not? Let me try and see, you know, what's up. Hopefully, as you can see, I am like trying to join the Zoom and I look like this. So hopefully I could keep my camera off. But if they ask me to, I'll go and change or whatever and be on camera. Once I finish that application and submit the documents, I'm going to go and freaking set the package up because it's one o'clock and i want to be able to head out with donovan whenever time he comes home and just drop the packages off and then head to the storage units to then change out the unit that we have and all of that amazing stuff i like days like this i like i like busy days where it's like okay i know i did this 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 that that's when I feel my most productive and that's when I feel like most, I guess, in my element armor, like when it's like bop, 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 bop. And no time to think, no time to chill, just done, 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 what's next, done, done, done. And that, that can be changed very easily. Then below your profile, there is an area where you can select if you want, if you are selling services, if you are looking for a job. What the hell? I don't know what happened. Can I see it? Can I not see it? What am I looking for? What's happening? Okay, you're right. I think you should see it. Um, put the camera on you. <coughs> what the fuck? Yeah, she's cursed. I thought you know it's probably something crazy. Huh? No, I said you cursed. I said, I said. Because it's, it's, you'll understand. Close your eyes. Keep them close. Okay, you open it. Okay. Okay. So I saw this email. What the fuck? Are they real? Yes! Let me see the email. Let me I see. did! I, I clicked on it! I did! That's crazy. Right! And we know what that is. I, what did we do? What is it? What you mean? I like, you know what the brand is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If we if we didn't have a real estate background, we wouldn't know who the hell Redfin is. That's crazy. That's crazy. This is like so crazy because this is what if y'all don't know what Redfin is. Redfin is like Zillow. So real estate agents, people in the real estate space, they use this to come up with comps. Um, so think appraisers, think people in the housing space. This is insane because this could, agents could see this and then be like, you know what? We're gonna go to Ember to gift our, you know, our new, uh, our clients this X, Y, Z. Cause we've had real estate agent in the past that did gifting with our candles. So this is this is insane. This is crazy. <laughs> now Melissa. What? I didn't even read the whole thing. Cause I just I'm like I wanted to see if it is what it was when I looked at it. Ah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> is something happening right now? <laughs> is is someone am I feel I feel like I got my bread in purple <laughs> like blind? United ah! United Airlines also wants to <laughs> also wants to what feature the 
It gotta be <coughs> scam. Director of Special Projects for Hemispheres, United Airlines In Flight Magazine. And we love to feature Ember Candle Co. as part of our December issues holiday gift guide. Are they charging? Are they charging us for it though? What do they want though? Like who? I don't understand what they were trying to ask us for. To be in their magazine? Yeah. So a package just came in for me. I am super excited. Excited. And then once I get this package, I can leave. All right, so earlier I was being very direct. I said, how did you hear about us? And I also asked them, what's the cost, right? Already outside of our price range. However, I do want to talk to other people who were in this because it's outside of our price range. We have the money for it, but I don't know if it's worth doing. You feel me? But here's the great thing about it. Someone that has one of our candles told her about it, which is why she wanted to do it. So I'm like, damn, that's crazy. But now it's like, okay, do we do it? Cause that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I don't even listen to her any of this. So I guess I'll tell her when she comes out. So people from United Airlines has a friend who has our candle. The pricing is $3,000. Twenty nine ninety five, and I think it said thirty nine ninety five. It's three thousand dollars. Should I do it? Industrial site. So let's say a couple. Well, I said somebody had. That's a recommendation. I finally made it to the city, so I'm almost at Staples, and then I'm at Starbucks. Good morning. Today is. Friday, I feel like it's been a really short week. I don't even remember what happened this week, honestly. A lot of times we'll be doing stuff I just think just happened. I know yesterday when I got the wax, I came home, I had to order more inventory because we have two fairs coming up this weekend. And then we also have a Morgan Stanley event, I think on Thursday next week. So it's prepared for that. And then the United Airlines magazine wants to have our candles in the magazine. So there's that. So it's, yeah, so we're trying to get everything ready. I'm about to go to the storage unit with Melissa. We're downgrading our storage unit. I know y'all remember last time we had like a really big 30 by 20, I think it was 30 by 10. So we're gonna downgrade that because that bill right now was damn near $500 a month. Melissa's gonna go open up an account and then because she'll get a discount for it, we're gonna transfer all of my stuff into that unit. I'm still trying to clean up a little bit. We have um, we have this mess over here. We got this over here. The kitchen's a little bit a little bit better than it was before. We had all the boxes y'all saw from the photo shoot. I'm returning all of that today too. I forgot about that. And I'm also going to buy clothes. I'm gonna use 500 of the 15,000 as a stipend to try and get some better clothes to wear for craft fairs and pop ups and stuff like that. Do you guys remember when there used to be sunlight here? It used to be a nice view all across this. Now it's just cement. Would you be able to send me the candles to me for the drink? Awesome. We are headed to the storage unit right now. Hopefully this can be done very quickly. We have to purchase a new storage unit, then transfer everything to that storage unit, then cancel the one that we currently have. All within hopefully 15 minutes. I think it was right now we're doing a 10 by 15. I wanted enough space just in case I ever need to go to the unit or in case we do get more stuff. But I didn't want a closet. Like Melissa wanted to get like a little closet. I'm like, mm, I don't want that. It has a big ass beam in the middle, so that's unfortunate, but I guess you can decorate it or something. So this is our storage unit right now. We got boxes over here. We got candle stuff over here, chairs, vessels, tables, signs, some candle stuff over here, personal stuff back here, paper over here, table signed, just all of this. So in about hopefully, I feel like this should probably take like 25, 30 minutes. All this will be out and downstairs. So it was definitely fun while it lasted having that storage unit. I got some use out of it, not the most use. And since we're gonna be doing a lot of online right now, it's not as beneficial. And because Melissa is going to the, and because Melissa is going to Starbucks, it's kind of like, you know, I have, I, I can get work done in the house better when she's not there. And the issue I have with me is in the storage unit is the Wi-Fi is so bad. The only thing I can do is actually edit in the storage unit, that's it. So I'm not editing, there's no reason to come here. Because I'm having a new editing schedule where I edit in the morning for a couple of hours, I don't even have to edit here. Maybe I was blind, on you forever while I try. This is 
Buffalo, New York. Someone that could be my great love. Right in front of me. I didn't realize you were my friend. Finish setting up the storage so unit. You took me by surprise. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm just curious. When did you know you had feelings for me? Maybe somehow we've always known that we have chemistry. But so the storage unit is completely empty. We have them a hundred percent finally downgraded to a smaller unit. Maybe in the future we'll end up upgrading again to a bigger unit or having a huge warehouse or something like that. That would be kind of cool to see. Um, but as of right now, we are taking a step back and downgrading. It's definitely smaller than the one that we had previously, but I think it's perfect for what we have of uh, what we need right now. Like it's still it's still a pretty big freaking storage unit, and it's only like 200, 200 bucks a month. So that's way better than four. Little beam in the middle. But, you know, maybe it'll get more filled up. So they told me I cannot throw out the pallet that I have. I'm gonna walk around with the pallet. Right now I gotta walk around with this thing until I find somewhere to throw this out. It's not crazy, but I'm gonna do with this. You guys see how big this is? Look at this. This is my arm here. That's how much space my arm has to go to get there. Can y'all see that? Look at this, that's crazy. Well, look at God. Pallet, pallets, perfect. So that's my pallet on top, that is on the bottom, and we're good to go. So now let's head to the city. We'll do a little uh, business shopping, you know, business expenses. I did need some clothes, some underwear, socks, shirts, pants, just little things. If you want to go shopping, I have to go to Whole Foods and return a bunch of stuff. Everything in this cart needs to be returned. This is about maybe $200, $300 worth of stuff. So everything is now in a plastic bag, probably like 12, 15 plastic bags here. So I gotta scan the QR code and start all, return all of these. Very interesting. That line got so crazy. That probably took me, I don't even know, 45 minutes. I was trying to be nice, I'm not in a rush. So I let people cut in front of me. But then I'm like, all right, it's getting kind of crazy now. It's like five, six people cut in front of me. Then I stopped and I had to go back on the line two or three times. But, and I, then I had to, I forgot a sticker. I put the wrong label on one. Then I forgot to put an item in one of the bags and one of the bags didn't fit. There's a lot going on in there. But finally done, hopefully we get the money back. They said it cut like two to four hours. Man, I don't know how Amazon does it. Amazon be doing, I don't know who's taking the brunt of that, but that's crazy. I'm leaving Chick-fil-A, I'm in the elevator right now. I only went to Old Navy, I didn't find anything I like, so I'm gonna probably check three more stores, and then after that, head home. So honestly, I'm thinking about getting like one of each of these colors. It's seven dollars for a t-shirt. This is called the basics section. Oh. So yeah, definitely this one. I like this beige color. It's like an olive green. Maybe not this one. This one I like. Mm, maybe, probably this one. I ran up a check, I might do it again. And the knees close, have me thinking they friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free into the end. Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I'm in debt to no one, but the one who took my sins. I do it for real. So now all I gotta get maybe some boxers and some socks and I'm good to go. I'm home now. I showed Melissa my clothes already. And I told you guys I wanted to email the people from that United Airlines magazine just to see what their experience was. And there there are some what I want to show I mean, it's not really TV worthy per se, but there's a lot of big brands on here. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Because they might be advertising just to advertise. 
and then not really see, not really caring about the returns from it. Right. And then I found some small brands ish, but like the first person I found had seventy k followers on Instagram, and I'm like, okay, that's not us. So someone actually responded already back from one of the Instagram DMs, and I haven't opened it yet because you know I don't want to seem thirsty, but it's not good. It's already not good. They looking like they were like all, from what I saw. It said, don't do it. I even saw a mad emoji, which means she was not feeling it at all. And that company wants between like two, damn near $4,000 a month to do that. So due diligence seems to be done. We had already kind of come to the conclusion that we weren't going to do it anyways, uh, because we don't want to suffer from shiny object syndrome. No, that's just God saying, reinforcing it. Don't do it. Don't do it. The thing about it to me is, in this world of business, all right, this is a crazy thing that I've realized in business. There are a lot of businesses that exist that are doing bad business. If there's a lot, like there are more of them doing bad than doing good. And the problem is the bad ones make money. That's the problem. So as a small business or a good business, or I wouldn't say good as a small business, we might want to implement or try and uh, follow a big business and, you know, what they're doing. But they're just losing money all over the place. So as I think about the United Airlines magazine, I wonder if it was just another revenue stream for United Airlines. We're like, all right, guys, we have a magazine on the plane. We're going to charge $2,000 Actually, they're making eight thousand dollars per page. I wonder if one of those, if it's one of those things that are grandfathered in, where it's like, okay, we probably had this magazine from before there were iPhones, before there were phones that you could read articles on. Because that's the first thing I came to my head to. I'm like, okay, this is lit. But like, who's really reading these in-flight magazines? You're not helping the people that's in the magazine. You just have the magazine, and I think it's another touch point. And so people, so bigger, so bigger brands can pay for that extra touch point where it's like okay i saw fiji water in the magazine and then i saw fiji water on a billboard and then i saw fiji water on my um inside the grocery store you know we try fiji water sure and then i, I spent uh, eight dollars i don't know but like I, said, I think i i'm happy maybe we'll send a woman a candle what do you think about that oh yeah she, she seems nice she even introduced herself right so i would send her a candle and you know go from there but I don't think it's just the right time for us. So I got my new fit on today. Jacket, same old shirt. Definitely pants. And the most important thing is, I feel comfortable. That's the most important thing. So like, I don't have to worry about my underwear riding up. I don't have to worry about my pants being too short. I don't have to worry about my leg range of motion. Everything is just perfect. I do not have to worry about my pants ripping. But right now I'm headed to the storage unit to get all the stuff we need for tomorrow. I need vessel, I need tablecloth. It's such a beautiful day outside. It's a shame that they blocked our view of this damn building. And this building is basically done already. for here and the only issue is that this tissue paper right here see this this i don't think we have a lot of this right i'm pretty sure we don't have any of it i'm hoping when we get home i can find some i'll see you guys at the house Today is Sunday, it is like 6.30 a.m. We went to bed at probably like 12.30, maybe one o'clock. Melissa's gonna be making some samples. I have to make some dust covers. Guess he just built it. Guess he just, look how crazy this is. I'll never forget 
we will never forget. I'm just now leaving the house, and the next train doesn't come for another 30 minutes. So, but the next railroad train doesn't come for another 30 minutes, so I'm gonna probably take the regular subway. I hope I have everything. I got vessels, I got candles. I don't have no seven ounce candles. Three ounce candles, oh fuck. the last time I went this one when I was selling a candle. Definitely trying to get back into it. I was only talking to one person and they came to the table. I didn't even approach them. So, feel a little bit off kilter. So I'm kind of trying to let it come to me until, until then. now heading to Ferry for but I used to turn this corner and get so much light I used to get so much light it's so dark like there's no sun here anymore I am unbelievably late it's so bad I'm thinking I'm gonna tell them oh you know because the marathon I didn't know the marathon was today so you know it was a lot more people in the elevators you know something because <sighs> bro I just found out that the train before this one was at 1106 and they canceled it. So I would have been out here, you know, mad as hell because the next train after 1106 is 1131 and that one's running late. That's the train I'm about to catch right now. So I ain't gonna be here till 1140. Y'all, look how busy this train is. I'm not getting on this train. They packed it in like Sharky. There's no way. There's no way. I got a couple fails. It's going better. I'm not trying too much. I'm definitely baking in the sun though. I got on the wrong train because I thought I could take the C train. I thought it was going to be on the F track like the E train, but it's not. But all is not lost because I think the E train is going to be heading here and then I could get on that and then I can get off at the stop I'm supposed to. But I was freaking out for a second like my heart literally hit the pit of my stomach because there's not even an elevator here for me to like cross over to go to the other side to go uptown. So I would literally like if the E train wasn't heading here I would literally have to go downtown to go back uptown to then catch another E train because they're literally splitting I think after this stop like. <sighs> Like I said, there's no elevator. This is 14th I'm in Soho. Alright, and I am now here. So they offered me to vend outside because it's not really busy. So I said sure, because you know, for traffic is for traffic. This could be fun. Honestly, I am almost feeling like I should just go home. And I'm gonna tell you why. So they offered me to go outside because it doesn't seem to be very busy. So I reply like that. Okay, I'll go outside. I get outside. I'm having a hard time sitting at the table. And then on top of that, I left the vessel that I need home. So this is gonna be very fun. Very fun. I'm trying to figure out kind of like how to have something but this is i don't think this is gonna go the best <sighs> all right this is i guess the fake setup that we have for right now and then we have candles on this side we have candles and if i'm missing this 
I'm missing people watching. What else? So that's about it. I just had my first sale, guys, which I think is awesome because I was tripping over my words and I was very nervous. But they actually recognized us. It was a guy. He recognized us because he had our candle before. And he's like, wait, aren't you normally? And I'm like, yes, that's us. So he came over. He had a friend. They played a game. They both ended up getting a small retail therapy. And I wasn't sure if they'd you know, pay the price because I'm like, the table is real janky. And I'm like, it's 32. And they're like, okay, okay, okay. Because <laughs> I was about to be like, I can do 25. <laughs> So two other guys just came over because they thought I was selling drinks. So we're off to a fun start. I just made my second sale for the day and it was a really fun, really cool, I'm like, am I creasing? It was a really fun, really cool conversation, which is like awesome. This is quite better than I thought it would. I really thought I was gonna make no sales, like at all, so no complaints. So I would definitely say today is going pretty good. I can't even lie. That's not even amazing. It's just like regular, I would say. Beat. We'd make a killing here with the right setup, for sure. I think the B knows. I just got another sale and you guessed it, they were from Texas. They ended up getting two big candles. Um, they wanted people watching, but I, you know, you already know what's happening with people watching. We don't have it. I think I only had one people watching card left and I gave it to them. But yeah, it's going pretty well. I'm finally done for the day. So I'm heading home. They gave me some water, so I won't die. But I am, I'm beat. Thanksgiving's coming up, and Luffy's gonna be in the parade this year. I took the right train, but they were having some service things going on. So, I'm at 34th and 6th instead of 34th and 7th. It's not the walk a block down, but it's like one of the busiest blocks in the damn city, so I'm like, that's nice. Finally heading home after a long day. I would definitely say today was a pretty good. Everybody is packing up. <laughs> Melissa's already in the house. Set it up and make $300 and come home. If we not, now again, I'm just, I'm extrapolating this. I don't want to do this. It's just extrapolation. Extrapolate some miles. If we did $300 a day, we went outside from, let's say, 8 o'clock a.m. That's early, I know. But let's say 8 o'clock to maybe 12 o'clock or 2 o'clock, right? We make three to $500. Let's say $300. That's $2,100 a week. That's $8,000 a month. Working in the beginning of the day. I know you're okay. Not for you. I'm just saying, if times were to ever get super hard, where something goes crazy, we do have that as an alternative to make some money, which is great. 
Yes. Yeah. Just be like, if we were going every single and day. And we're only out there for a couple hours. Yes. It would be crazy. Absolutely. So there's that. Um, also, it would build a brand by doing that. So all of that stuff is amazing to see. All right? People would break any necks. Like, it was, it's weird. Because I could have sold way more candles, like, if the setup was bad. Mm-hmm. The if setup had, was so bad. If we had the, the light that we talked about from before. What? The diamond. We would have. That would, I think the police would pull them in. <laughs> So, like I said, it was crazy. And I think, I'm curious. I do, I wouldn't want to, you know, do too much. But I wanted to fairly let it do that often. Like, hey, you might be set up outside in front of your store. There's going to be our setup. We can say that we're partnering with you guys. Now, numbers for the day, you guys. Here we go. Oh, we got numbers. Right. Oh, it's been a while snap. since we had this, guys. Okay. So, for the entire day, we sold nine 12-ounce candles, which is a lot. 11 7-ounce candles and one 3-ounce candle. Okay, to a total of 15 sales. We grossed $790 and we netted $731 today. Okay, that's one day. Melissa outside, I'm chilling. Oh, that's what I said. I didn't tell you. I'm going to tell Melissa and you guys. I kind of, I don't know if I told you. Okay, so earlier someone had asked if we can like get a lot of, sell a lot of candles. And I was like, like, what's a lot? I said, I said, what's a lot? She said, Oh, like 50? I'm like, oh, you want 50 right now? She's like, oh, no, no, not right now. Not right now. I was like, oh, okay, sure. Uh, so she was talking about an event that she's going to have with her friends, and she would buy 50 candles as gifts for her friends, right? Crazy. Uh, it would be the small one. It would be $32 each, which is about $1,500. And she asked if, we would get a, if she would get a discount for buying that. Many, I'm like, absolutely. You buy 50 candles, you get a discount. Someone else came up to me and asked if we do court. Well, he was like, do you guys do... S- uh, like large stuff. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I'm like corporate gifts. Oh yes, yes. Let's call it that. Of course. So I gave him two cards. He wanted wine down though. I was one of his favorite. Uh-huh. I couldn't give it to him. I had to give him uh-huh. another one that he wanted. Or kind of like. I had no sense. And then he literally asked me like, "You don't have one of these cards?" And that's in that sense. And I was like, "Nah, bro, I don't." Another guy came up to me today, and he said that he works for his company, which I still don't know. I don't know if somebody's about to steal from us or if this is some ChatGPT. I don't know what this is. Okay, so it's called O. Factive.ai. And what the company does is it analyzes scents to find out which will be the most popular scents for you to sell. They do food and they do scents. So what it says, what combination of food and scents will make it that is very interesting. All in all, pretty good day. This week we have Beyonce thing, right? Yeah. We have Beyonce pitch competition that we're gonna be going to watch. We're gonna be at Morgan Stanley. Uh, we have to respond to some Redfin invitations oh and we have to respond to so the stuff. Uline airline stuff we have to respond to. And I got to edit the podcast and the vlog. I did not have a Seagate for you guys, so it's going to come out late today. I'm sorry. But we will see you guys next week.